fantasy check-in for the Orlando Magic. Nick Vucevic, I think he's settling into the right range now, the 31st ranked player over the last two weeks. He was top 15 for a big stretch of time. That seemed unlikely to continue, but this rank of 31 is also coming on the back of a weird 62% free throw shooting. He's had ups and downs in free throw shooting over his career. I bank on that returning or coming back, so he can push back into that top 20, averaging 19 and 12, but maybe that top 12, top 13 zone where he was is a little bit hard to expect. The three-point shooting has also fallen off just 24% over the last six games, giving 0.73s. But the hot guy here in Orlando is DJ Augustin, 44th ranked player over the last two weeks, available in 58% of Yahoo leagues, averaging 17 and 4. His usage has spiked for some reason. His efficiency is through the roof, uh, hitting 57% of his two-pointers. There's no real assists there. It's the elite free throws, 97% on five attempts, and the 17 points per game. So he is a great free throw shooter. He doesn't get to the line usually that much. So I think he is worth looking at as a 12-team league guy. Would I add him over someone like, say, Reggie Jackson? Yes. Would I add Derek White over DJ Elgerson? Probably yes. But DJ can, ha can have value at the moment. He's someone you have to be looking at for the short term while they're going to him, while he's getting to the line, while he's being this aggressive and shooting this well. You utilize that. And there was a time two weeks ago he was outside the top 220. So it does swing with him pretty wildly. Aaron Gordon, I, maybe he's just not good. He's the 116th ranked player over the last two weeks. I wouldn't bank on him being a top 50 or top 40 guy. The shooting just isn't there, although he is hitting 36% of his threes. There's a lack of defense. He's averaging 14 and 9. The usage isn't high for him. He is really struggling. Well, Evan Fournier just can't get his three ball to really fall this season. Now, there's been signs of life lately, 43% over the last seven games, but still way below career numbers or, or um, uh, recent numbers in the three-point area. The assists aren't great. He's doing very little in other areas, Fournier. So I do think he is a 12-team league guy, but in a 10-team format, maybe not. While the other guy, John Isaac, I think... I really like Isaac. I think he's going to be a stud at some point. It's just not happening for him consistently with minutes, with offensive production, with confidence. So I think that we can move on from him in all 10-team leagues and probably in 12-team formats as well. As much as I do like him, I'm not really feeling it. While Terry Ross is uh, he's a streamer at this point. He's outside the top 270 over the last two weeks. That's what just happens with him shooting 32% from the field, far from a must roster player, but can have short-term value while Muhammad Bamba continues to struggle and he shouldn't be on any 12-team rosters.